Hey sisters! <laughs> Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. Welcome back to our channel. Look, we got the merch on. Sh show, show off your merch. Uh, today we are joined with a special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Kay and Chimary on Instagram. Oh, you're just gonna <laughs> shout out your Instagram handle? <laughs> yeah. What's your real name? Mary. Alright, that's okay. Mary. I'm Dylan. Um, do you want me to link your Instagram? And oh yeah, you shall. They will definitely <laughs> follow it. You're gonna get some DMs. Oh, I hope I do. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah guys, so I wanted to bring her on and basically she's gonna be on the channel from time to time. So, um, give like, what, 15 second intro about yourself. You do okay. hair, like. So, I'm Mary, I moved to Los Angeles from Poland, which is in Europe. Uh, by the end of September, oh, and I thought Poland was in Antarctica. No. Well, actually, people in America think that Europe, like they don't know the map of Europe. So I just want to state it out. There. Okay. Yeah, and so I'm a makeup artist, and I'm going to school here, art school, and yep. And you take Uber. Oh yeah, unfortunately I do. So unfortunately. I don't have a car. That's okay. Fine. So yeah, basically I brought her on because she doesn't have a car here, so she takes Uber, Lyft a lot, guys. So. You guys know me, I'm the driver, I'm the Uber driver, Lyft driver, and she's the passenger, so I thought it would be great to share her perspective on this channel and just, you know, add a cool little twist. So, um, and fun fact, she has been modeling the merch too, so, um, yeah, I brought her in as a model for the, for the Ride Your Hub merch, and now she's on the channel too, exactly. so she's around. But anyways, guys, I'm just gonna ask her a few questions about her experience as a passenger and yeah let's see where it goes anything else before we get started before we spill the tea oh spill the tea sis spill the tea sis <laughs> <laughs> um cool so you're from <clears throat> poland not yeah. not russia oh hell no not <laughs> did i say it out loud oops <laughs> all right so the first question for mary is how often do you take uber well it depends if i have to take it especially during the night when i have late night at school like let's say i finish at five and it's already dark outside i'm scared to take a metro so i am forced to take uber yeah but not every time the price is satisfactory so i'm trying to not take it as much as because you take the metro like yeah. that's your main form of transportation. <clears throat> yeah i like if i don't have to take uber i'm not taking it yeah what's the price difference like taking metro versus uber well, Metro is like 175. Oh, so it's really cheap. Yeah. Gotcha. And over from my school to my home is like 20 bucks. Oh, dang. Exactly. So, so, and then do you take Uber or Lyft? Like, which one do you usually take more? Uber, I think, yeah. Because I have the Golden status right now. Oh. Yeah. Your so, gold member? Yeah, I Dang. Am. <laughs> so I have more. That's like, how you get the upgrades to black, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I have like more kind of um, percent, like, percentage off like let's say 20% off sometimes yeah so I don't take lift that much mm, anymore. Gotcha. yeah yeah she actually told me guys she got upgraded to black Uber, <laughs> Uber black for free one time yeah just cuz I don't know maybe they saw your profile picture that she's like oh she needs to be treated like a queen exactly. let's, let's upgrade her <laughs> yeah. all right so the second question is do you ever tip your drivers you can be honest I don't I've never <laughs> tipped a driver once. There are so many people watching this because my audience are all- I'm so sorry guys. My audience are all drivers, so they're triggered right now. I'm so sorry guys. But tell them but why, tell them why. That's a rip off, like okay, I, <laughs> <laughs> I want to spend- Don't get mad, don't leave the video thumbs down. I'm just, we're being honest with you guys, okay? I'm- I tip, I tip, okay? Yeah, sure, and I, I'm not because like- Two reasons why I don't tip. The first one is that I'm from Europe, and in Europe, we do not leave tips anywhere. Mm -hmm. Like that's not a behavior we are like <laughs> following up to. I just can imagine the <clears throat> people's faces right now hearing you say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're like dislike. And the other thing is that um, the thing is that let's say I don't want to spend a lot of money on Uber. So yeah. when it right costs $5, I'm not going to pay $2. Another $5. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, That'll double the... Yeah. I don't like that. Fair enough. Yeah. All right, number three. You know, you're a decently attractive person. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> you're a model. Do you ever get hit on during a ride? 
either by because you take uber pool sometimes right yeah so either by the other passengers or the driver well i would say i've been hit on once by a driver but by passengers it's like more often i would say in uber pool yeah really yeah that's freaking <laughs> cringy that is so cringe i'm not gonna lie i feel so uncomfortable and i don't know how to like Okay, let me tell you, like, Wait, I know so, how to reject a person, but I, I have to be nice at the same time. Yeah, because you're in a tight, you can't just leave because you're in the car with them. And just imagine, like, when I get dropped off first, and the whole ride I have to deal with this person. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's not, no, no. So, do you remember, like, a specific scenario where somebody, or not really? Well, when it comes to Uber drivers, usually they were like uh, young drivers, like 20 in their 20s or something like that. Yeah. yeah. And they were like, oh, you're so pretty. You look like Ariana Grande. You like, what's your Instagram? Like, what are you doing later? And I'm like, yeah, not. I can see how like the, the compliment of like looking like Ariana Grande mm -hmm. could be flattering. But like when you take it to the next level, then it gets a little weird, right? I mean, honestly, I like it. Like when they say, like, oh, you look like Ariana Grande. Like last time. Well, yeah, was, that's yeah. fine. I'm saying, but if they say, oh, do you want to come home with me? Oh my God, that's cringe. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, oh hell no, buddy. <laughs> I'm busy. Later. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, guys, merch is on sale, thirty percent off. Link in bio. Merch link in bio. Always plugged. <laughs> <laughs> Always plugged. All right. The next question is. <clears throat> What is the best type of Uber driver? Like we just talked about a couple bad Uber drivers, but like what's what's a good like after a ride that you just say, "Oh my mm -hmm. god, that was the best driver ever." So let's say it depends. Like you have to like sense the conversation, like the the mood that's going on because sometimes I'm tired mm -hmm. and I don't want to talk to anybody. Yeah. But sometimes I'm just like, "Oh, I have a nice day and I would like to get to know people because I'm new in America." So talking to people is actually like crucial to like get to know each other. Yeah. So I love it when like someone just like like we start talking and like I have a smile on like on my face afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so do you like it when your driver asks you questions first? I mean, the thing is that usually I'm the one who's starting the conversation. Oh, really? I think, yeah, because like most of the time the driver is just like quiet. Cause, yeah. Like, yeah, I think they feel that they don't want to like interrupt someone's yeah. privacy. Like, you know? Yeah. Have you ever rated a driver a one star? Let's spill the tea. I did. <laughs> Twice. Twice? Yes, I did. And so, you've only taken two rides, so... They well... Were, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the thing is, uh, the first one was two days ago. Oh, so, this is a recent one. Uh, the driver, like, I was supposed to go to this shop that was on the other side of the street. So I asked the driver politely if he could pull over there. And he started making excuses like, oh, it's too far. I have to take the U-turn. Like, can you, can't you just walk past by it? And I just got pissed off. Like, yeah. I'm paying for the service. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah, exactly. if he was nice about it, I wouldn't mind. Yeah. But he was just answering with such an attitude that I felt like I'm, I'm, I'm not living for it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've been, um, I actually don't know, even know if you know, but I do, I drive as well. Really? For Uber and Lyft, yeah. Like how here you, and there, like how I do just you like it. It's in, well, so like, so you guys probably maybe you guys don't know my story, but I started driving like seriously uh, like two years ago, like for extra money, mm -hmm. and now I just kind of do it like here and there just for fun. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, and for content purposes, like I share my earnings on this channel, so I'll go and do a few. Uh -huh. I'll do, go out on a Friday night and then like or whatever. You I know. would get lost personally. Yeah. In LA. But like, what I'm saying is that like sometimes pastors ask you to make illegal U-turns or something. Or they're like, oh, can you just turn here? Mm -hmm. Even though it's like illegal. But like if someone asks me, I'll be like, oh, I can't. But like I'll do it on the next one. Yeah. So like, but it sounds like he was just being rude about it. Yeah, he was just having an attitude. He like was... if he said, oh, yeah, I can, but I can't do it until the next slide. Because sometimes okay? I have the writers that have like they're very polite. Yeah. And they take care of the customers. So like, oh yeah, like I care about my customers at like this level. Yeah. And I want to provide the highest 
possible service yeah and that's what i appreciate yeah because i know like i feel comfortable everyone feels comfortable and i'm just like i'm all for it you want a like a yes driver who yeah. you ask might ask a question he's like yeah yeah we'll do it we'll figure out a way not yes. like hey can you drop me off he's like no mm-hmm yeah exactly okay that's what happens to me so no, that's a no 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, sorry, really quick, we had to come back on because we forgot, she actually, there was another time you left your driver One star One star because something. He deserved it He, like, um, I was going to a strip club mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Casually Casually Monday with night, Monday my night. friends And this guy, he had the audacity to ask me if I'm going there for work. Oh I'm my stripper. god! Like he was like, "Oh, are you a stripper? Can I tip you?" And I'm like, "How much is for the dance?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Ma'am, ma'am." Yeah. <laughs> so, how much did you get? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, he didn't get anything because I canceled it. Oh, you can you canceled it? Yeah. Good girl. Yeah, I know. Good job. He didn't get any coins. <laughs> All right, guys, back to the video. All right, the next question. What is the biggest, in your opinion, what's the biggest problem with Uber or Lyft? Prices. Yeah? Too Price. expensive? Yes. <laughs> oh, trust me, like... You realize it's, like, way cheaper than taxis. I know, but at the <laughs> same time, when you're a broke student, yeah. every cent counts for you. Every cent. Every cent. Yeah. So, sometimes, let's say... Like, <clears throat> from the airport especially, it's like mm -hmm. 25 bucks, right? But during rush hours, you, you have to pay like $50. Yeah. That's insane. You know a trick to, to get a cheaper ride, right? No. You don't know the trick? No. When it's really expensive, you, um, you just wait like five minutes. I mean, okay, that's what I've been doing, but at the same time, uh, I had this situation. Or 10 minutes, or 15 minutes. I had this situation. Because when you land at a flight, yeah. all of a sudden, a whole flight gets <clears throat> off, and they're all ordering rides. So oh, wait yeah. till they get their rides, and then you have to just chill for 20 minutes, go on your mm -hmm. phone, watch some TikToks, <clears throat> and then order your Uber, and it's like, you save like 20 bucks. That's crazy, but let me tell you, once I was at school, I wanted to order Uber. And the price was 25 bucks. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna wait. Yeah. And 10 minutes And then it later, went up. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just like going up and up and up. And up. Well, like, generally, like, yeah, it's not gonna go any cheaper than 25. So you would, you probably just had to order it. I was very eager to wait. Yeah. I w I've waited an hour and it dropped off to like 15 bucks. Yeah. All right, and the last question. Um, well, maybe we'll do. Maybe we'll leave a bonus question. We'll spill some major tea at the end, so stay tuned for that one. But the the last question is: Do you ever take Uber Pool or Lyft shared? If I have to. Yeah. Because let's say the price for Uber X is fifteen dollars, yeah. and for Uber Pool is like nine dollars. I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, I'm gonna yeah. take Uber Pool. But you have this specific uh, option that you have to walk. Yeah. I never take that. I did that the other day. I hate that. And I didn't have to walk at all. He just picked me up here and dropped yeah. me right off. Yeah, that's like, you know, like 50-50. Like, depends on your walk. It also depends where I'm going, too. Yeah. If I don't mind, like, walking a block or two, if I get dropped off in but Hollywood. But when you're, like, rushing somewhere. If you're getting dropped off in Hollywood, you just walk a block. Yeah, it's no big true. deal. But, like, yeah, if, you're, if you need to go to, like, the doctor. And when you're like <laughs> me, who doesn't know the area. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. All right. And the last question, the major T. Well, it's not really T, but <laughs> what's your favorite part about Uber? Or well, that's Lyft? A, that's a tricky question, honestly. Why? Because you don't like it at all. <laughs> I, I do like it. Like it's convenient. Yeah. It's safe. Like, let's say a few years ago, you would think like, oh, that's crazy. You like, you when you were younger, your mom told you like, do not go to cars with strangers. Yeah, of course. <laughs> And like, look at us like right now. We order Hopping a car <laughs> from an internet, a stranger, and yeah. we got into the car with a stranger we met on the internet. Like, that's true. That's all like three aspects that we were yeah. like told to avoid, <laughs> which is funny. And it's convenient because whenever you're like, wherever you are. I also are, met you on the internet. <laughs> yeah, so like, look at us, like 2019. Everyone, I feel like. I don't know. I honestly feel like if you don't meet people on the internet, you're kind of weird. 
Like, if you're not sliding to DMs on Instagram. I know, right? But, like, just imagine, like, you're in a public place and you just, like, hey, slide into someone. You're like, sitting at the Hi. bus stop. So, That's what's up? That's happened to me. <laughs> I'm sure to you. Like, someone asked me for lunch. Did you say yes? In front of the restaurant. Did you say yes? No. Why would I? That's I don't know. Maybe he's cute. No, he wasn't. <laughs> but if he was, you would be down, right? <laughs> I was 17 at the time. Well, maybe he's 16. No, he was like 25. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. That's kind of weird. That's then. bad. That's really <laughs> that's bad, bad. Actually. Yeah. Maybe he just wanted to be friends. Oh, I, I didn't want to be friends. Okay. Um, no, so. that's bad. Um, well, yeah, that's it, guys. That's the interview. That's the intro to Mary's life as an Uber writer. Exciting, huh? Very exciting. Um, any, yeah, what I mean, what do you, what's some general advice you say to drivers? Like, because there's some new drivers watching mm -hmm. this, some experienced drivers who have never asked a passenger to really, really spill, spill the tea about drivers. So, like, just some advice. Well, be nice. Always say hello. Like, no matter what you see, like, the passenger's, like, in a bad or a good mood, just always say hi. Because it's very cringy when we get in and it's, like, silent. Dead silent. Dead silent yeah. Like, yeah yeah like what what am i supposed to like who's that like is, is he gonna kidnap me or like probably. probably so always be nice and just like sense the like mood like yeah. what's going on if you want to keep up the conversation or not because sometimes i was in a mood to talk to but i didn't know how to start and like the driver wasn't like into the mood to keep up the conversation mm -hmm. you know yeah fair enough so just be nice and that's it i think all right. And make the U-turns. <laughs> make those U-turns. All right. Well, um, thanks for coming on the channel. You're welcome. I think, um, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. More to come. More to come. It's coming. What's this? I don't know. Like, that's my signature. Oh, yeah, I, I, that's, just, that's a girl thing, right? That's like a beauty guru thing. What is that supposed to do? I don't know. It just it <laughs> makes your face look like flutter, fluttering. I don't know. Flutter, flattering. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Smash the subscribe button too so you're notified every time we come on the channel. Follow us on Instagram. They will be in the description down below. And yeah, guys, get out there, make some money, and cop make the merch. Make that coins, baby. Make those coins and cop the merch, guys. We'll see you all soon. Later, guys. Bye. Bye.